Hi, I'm Darcy. And I'm Kelly. And thanks for joining us for... And, and another, another thing, thing. Where we talk about current events. Pop culture. Things we love. Things we don't. All slathered in gobs of laughter. And all the feels. Woohoo! So grab a drink, sit back, and join us for... And, and another thing. Christmas 2021. We sound like Barbara Walters. 2021. <laughs> Dressed up. Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, I got, I got them all shoes. Yeah. We're yeah. all comfy and cozy in here. Totes. So, um, we wanted to keep it light. If yes. you've seen any of our other haunt holiday shows, we've done traditions around the world. So, check them out on the YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, so, this one, we're doing all light and fun stuff. So, I'm going to start yes. off with some wacky facts. I love it. Okay, so the average American spends, not me, but the average American <laughs> spends $983 on gifts. Wow. A year. That's crazy. But 75% of the people admit that they hate the gifts they get. <gasps> so approximately $737.25 is wasted every year on crappy gifts. <laughs> Do they return them? I don't know or if they return them or we get them. Who's reporting? I hate this and it costs us money. <laughs> exactly. I don't know, but who's so, doing that poll? <laughs> so we think those ties or, um, you know, whatever. But yeah, can you believe that? Wow. 983. I guess that's when you have kids and stuff, but that seems like True. a lot. But I guess, you know, people save up all year. I, that's what I should do. I should have I a Christmas they fund, and I never do. They used to have a Christmas thing where you put in a little bit every month. I know. Yeah, I don't either. I should. Um, so, Harry Truman was the first sitting president to celebrate Hanukkah in the White House. Really? Yeah. Oh. In 1951, he lit a menorah given to him by then Israeli Prime Minister David Ben Gurion. And fun fact: uh, Israel's Israel's airport is named David Ben Gurion. I'm sure they oh. have more than one airport, but. Hmm. Um, and then finally, my last uh, wacky fact, and I want all of you to be careful and listen to this. Okay. There are more than 14,000 decorating accidents reported between November and December. I believe it. Okay. <laughs> so I be totally safe. Believe it. Right. And 40% of them are falls off of ladders. <gasps> That's one major reason I don't do lights outside the house. Because, well, first of all, I have crank windows. So I can't really figure out how right. to get the... And I'm just like, I just know myself. I know, I know, I know. Exactly. fall and break my head. Exactly. I did a Christmas yeah. tree this year for the first time ever in my yeah. life. Oh. I've never had a Christmas tree, and it took me like four days. The first day, I don't know how you Gentiles have the patience to separate the fake ones branch by branch. So the oh. first day, I was just separating the branches. <laughs> From my cheapo Amazon yeah. China tree. That's why mine are this size. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So you have to fluff up all the branches. So then yeah. I'm like, it doesn't look like a tree. And then more fluff, 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 fluff. Mm -hmm. So then I did lights. I was told you do lights that's first. That's the worst. Yes, true. But that's the worst. So I did lights. Yeah. <laughs> so I did the lights. Then I'm like, I can't do anymore. So then the next day I put on tinsel. I'm like, <gasps> okay, that's it. And then finally I was like, okay, a couple ornaments, a couple ornaments. I was going to do so much stuff. I was going to make or Anyway, yeah. so next year. That's okay. Um, so those are my wacky facts. Uh, okay. If you have any fun wacky facts, put them down there. We yeah, even if it includes what your family does as wacky oh, yeah. family stuff, you do at Christmas. Some people have some really interesting yeah. traditions. Yeah, like this is us you know. stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> stuff like oh we eat rich crackers because we you know i love all their stuff right. oh, that's thanksgiving yeah. anyway <laughs> yes okay so now <laughs> we have christmas holiday jokes really dumb ones <laughs> should Bad i jokes. take one first yes okay i have the wrong glasses on i'm wearing these because they're cute not because i can see in them okay. <laughs> what has fins a tail and is mailed to you at christmas Fins, a tail, and Mary, and sent to you at sent Christmas. Sent to you at Christmas. Uh, uh, I jingle shock. I shark. stomped the queen of puns. It's a Christmas card. <laughs> Christmas card. <laughs> 
Yes, 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 yes. So what's your next one? Okay. Um, what do you call a snowman's offspring? Nope, we're filming. Can you put it on the, just put it on the ground. Thanks. Thank you. Merry Christmas, mail person. Yeah, yeah that's totally Thank fine. You. Thank you. It's not like she doesn't have a big sign on the door that says if you're delivering, don't knock because we're... Well, no, it actually says delivery, ring bell. <laughs> usually my mail person gets here before that. Yeah, well, that was a mail person. I'm sorry. So, she usually gets here before we start. It's our playing. fancy studio. Yeah. So, um, okay, so what do you call a snowman's offspring? Snowman's offspring. I don't know. Children. Aww. Uh, <laughs> that's <Christmas> right. Card. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next. What would you have if Santa brought you a kitten and a puppy? Uh, uh, non-silent nights. <laughs> True. <laughs> but the answer is... A meowy Christmas and a yappy New Year. <laughs> that was for you. I'm so glad you didn't get the same ones. I'm like, we probably got all the same I ones. I know. I'm dug deep. I okay. Deep. Why? What makes a reindeer such a good stand-up comic? Oh. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I'm they always slay. Oh. oh. Hey. Oh my gosh. Okay. Where where does Christmas come before Thanksgiving? In the dictionary. You oh! I knew you were gonna get it. I knew it. I was like, she's gonna get this one. In the dictionary. There okay, it is. well this is a good one. This is a good segue. What do Santa's helpers learn in school? Oh man. This is why I'm not good at puns. Because that's all these are really. I know. I, I don't know. I'm just gonna The alphabet. Oh my god. <laughs> of course. Of course. Uh, I got two more here. Me too. What happens Wait. if you eat Christmas decorations? You uh, get heart burning Yule logs. <laughs> <laughs> you might poo the Yule logs. Yeah. <laughs> That's not the answer though. The answer is you get tinselitis. chimney. I feel like I know this. I've heard this before, but I, you know, I don't know. There's no sense in wasting your time. Because it suits him. Oh, <laughs> S-O-O-T. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My last one. What do you get if you deep fry Santa Claus? Extra crispy Kringle. <laughs> better. It's crisp Kringle, but I also say you get arrested and thrown in jail because you're a sick mofo. <laughs> That's just not okay. Do not be deep frying Santa. Like somebody's got their deep fry at the bottom of their chin. Like those big turkey it. fryers? Exactly. <laughs> um, okay, and to round this out, because we have to, where do Santa's reindeers take their coffee break? I don't know. Starbucks. Of course. <laughs> so, that is, uh, that is our first annual uh, dumb dad jokes for dumb, Christmas. Right, exactly, exactly. So, if you have any, please write them down there. Share with us. Yes, please do. Yes. And if you even give us a tape of you um, saying, doing them, that's even better. That'd be great. You might end up on our Instagram. That's right, that's right. Depending on um, my schedule and how much time I've got. You know, it's funny. I glanced over at your notes and uh -huh. I forgot a significant part of today's show. So I'm just going to wait the rest of it. But okay. uh, because I have the wacky facts, I'm going to let you take right. this. And I didn't do wacky facts. So here we go. So I've been, so last year sucked big toes. Okay. Because it was pandemic and, um, the last of my family who had lived here in California moved back home to New York. So I was all by myself and spending the holidays by myself because we were, you know, in quarantine. And so this year I was like, I, so my Christmas spirit was between zero and nil. So this year I've been doing all the Christmas things. I got 
this it looks settled. amazing here. And she did a concert that I, I think I posted on here. Yeah, I think I think I might have too. But um, yeah, so if you haven't seen my Christmas concert, would love to have you see it. It's also on my personal page. But um, I decided this year I was doing all the things. And I think what helped actually was after surgery, I had a whole week where I didn't have to do any work. I did no teaching voice lessons. I didn't do my side hustle, hustle transcription. So I just started watching cheesy Christmas movies and getting in the spirit. And so I decided I would share with you what you absolutely cannot miss this year and then stuff that maybe you should skip. Okay. Um, so let's start with something you want to watch, which is cute, is single all the way and I should have written down where you can find these things I believe this was a Netflix and I think single all the way is a yeah. Netflix and I have it in my queue I haven't watched it's, it yet. it's cute it's the typical formulaic you know best friends who aren't in love and then they're in love but they're gay this happens to be two gay best friends and uh just the cheesy premise come home with me my family's always bugging me about how single I am you're my best friend come home with me and we'll pretend we're together and blah 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 but Kathy and Jimmy the troubling troublemaking mom sets them up on a blind date nice and so anyway but you know how it ends I'm sure you can figure out how it ends the best friends you know. Well, and I'm addicted to the freaking Hallmark and the Lifetime, so yes. I've seen all of those, and I should have given you the which ones, but single all the way I have in my queue for sure. Yeah. Now, you said the Christmas, oh, um, 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 the castle, do you have that? Oh, on? this is a don't watch. Yeah, I have that in my queue too, no? That's Brooke Well, here's Shields, the thing. No? It's Brooke Shields and Carrie Elwes, you know, the prince from The Princess right. Bride, and, or the Dread Pirate Roberts. Um and so that's why I watched it. Mm -hmm. I was like, I know this is going to be cheesy because it's a Christmas movie. I will lower my cheese quotient. Right. You know what right. I mean? You have to. You have I to. I mean, you seriously have to. Yeah. But it was... <laughs> Brooke Shields, God bless her. She is not a good actor. No. She no. was overacting everything. And Carrie Elwes is... Um... He hasn't aged so well. No, he really hasn't. He's, he's kind of smarmy. Cute. Yeah, he's kind of smarmy dad guy now. Yeah, and so it, he's still a good actor. I've always found him oh, to be I a agree. good actor, underrated. But it's just it's so it's just a little bit a lot. So, so if you're a it. huge fan of either of these people, then sure watch it. But I would say that's a maybe skip it. Okay, one. But I'm still gonna watch it. Okay. <laughs> if you think of anything off the top of your head, just butt in. Okay. okay? Well, well on. Uh, I think it's Netflix. There's one with um, Kimberly Williams, who okay. and oh, her Brad real Paisley's life sister, wife. yeah, Brad Paisley's, Paisley's sister. And I think it's called the Christmas Sisters or something, Sisters at Christmas. And it's a two-parter, and it's fabulous. Oh, cool! It's really good. Um, and that's a Hallmarky one. What's that called again? Um, it's called the Sisters at Christmas, Sisters and then one Christmas. is Christmas in the City, and one is Christmas in the Country. So there's a city. City girl, country girl, and a, you know, city girl, and they cross, and the city girl goes to stay in the country, and the country ah, girl goes to stay in the city, okay. and um, all that ensues. But yeah, it's totally formulaic. I mean, they have to have a kiss at a tree lighting. That always has to happen. Okay. It has to snow on Christmas, even mm -hmm. if it takes place in freaking Fiji. Right. Um, <laughs> it's a miracle. It's snowing in Fiji for the first time ever. Um, <laughs> And they have to overhear yeah. them saying something like, I do love you. And then they walk away like, oh. And then as soon as they walk away, but we're not together because I'm in love with someone else. But they never hear that. They only hear the, mm -hmm. so those are the things that have to come into a home. Right. Movie. And there's got to be a hot guy in plaid. Always. Yeah. Always. I have to tell you, the lifetime, if you're, uh. Hallmark's a little too um, sappy. Mm -hmm. um, the Lifetime are a little cutting, more cutting edge, and they have more really? characters. They have more uh, biracial, which Hallmark is getting really good at that. But that's yeah, cool. So the that's Lifetime cool. are a little bit edgier. Okay, that's, that's all I've got. Now you to finish me. your list. Um, you okay, work. so this is this next one is the most cheese tastic thing I have ever seen in my life, and I'm so glad I watched it. It's Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. That's the best! <laughs> With is. the musical numbers? That, well, here's the thing. This is how beloved Dolly Parton is. This is the worst effing script I have ever seen. Horrible. But Christine Baranski, Treat Williams, Jennifer frickin' Lewis, and all everything choreographed by Debbie frickin' Allen. So it's like, this, people are like, I don't care how bad it is. It's Dolly, I'm in. <laughs> and it 
I'm so glad you saw it because I think it was came out last year, the year before. So I yeah, it's a it couple of years old. Out. Yeah, <laughs> I just enjoyed it so much. <laughs> totally. And I was like, this is so bad, but I'm loving every freaking minute of it. It's, and of it's course, great. Christine Baranski plays the the bad girl, yeah. and she does it so well. Yeah. And it's just nobody does Ice Queen like her. It's I mean, she's just, lovely. It's yeah. lovely and adorable and ridiculous yeah. and Dolly at the very beginning plays a homeless person but she's totally all made up like she always is and it's like I've never seen a homeless person look like I that know, you know? I know with the lashes and everything and she's got you know like one little dirt smudge <laughs> oh, oh, this person. Yeah, and her her wig is straight instead of curling it's like come on I know. but it's really cute and it's fun and, and, and she's you know, only wearing four inch heels not six inch heels as a homeless person exactly but it's wonderful. Um, another one I really liked was called Noel, and that's Anna Kendrick and Bill Hader has oh, a part. Adorable. You know, and it's really cute. She plays the daughter of Santa Claus, and Bill Hader is the son of Santa Claus, and that passes down generation to generation. The new Santa Claus is the son, and you know, it's all very. It's a little, very frosting, like sugary women's lip. <laughs> but yeah, Anna right. is freaking adorable. I and love there's her. no, there's a guy that she meets who's totally hot and cute and has a single son, but it doesn't, it doesn't go the way you think. Nice. You know what I mean? And it's like, so there's a couple little twists and it's really cute and really adorable. Yeah, that is cute. Um, I want to tell you something to maybe not watch. <laughs> Also featuring Anna Kendrick. Do not watch. This is an absolute do not watch this. It's called Happy Christmas with Anna Kendrick and Melanie Linsky. And is the most depressing thing I have ever seen in my life. And it has a, the ending, it just ends abruptly. It doesn't answer any questions. It doesn't wrap anything up. It's just awful. And it was wow. like the first year I was streaming only, I was looking for Christmas stuff. Me and my sister Mandy and Mandy was having a hard time that year for whatever reason. She couldn't get in the spirit and Mandy is a Christmas. Yeah. She's oh. worse than me. Um, and we were just trying to find anything. And <laughs> we watched this movie. We were like, we're more depressed than we were when we started. Don't watch that movie. Um, Good to know. Another one that I'm going to say this is on the maybe list. Because if you are a fan of boy bands. See, I loved it. If you're going to say I saw it, you I'm say, say yeah. it. It's called A Very Boy, boy Band, band Holiday. Holiday. But I have to say, and I mean this actually with love in my heart. I kind of feel like it should be a very dad bob holiday. Oh, <laughs> it's Pete, you know, members of NSYNC, uh, Bobby Brown. There's one guy from uh, Boys to Men. Yeah, there's Boys to Men. A few people here and there. Joey McIntyre shows up from uh, and Joey. New Kids. I would crawl through glass for you. Fatone is the host of it. And yes, he's fun. I here's love what was interesting. Him. The the script of it was so cheesy. Oh, it was so terrible. terrible. They're all meeting for it's supposed to be poker, and then right, Ooh. and they're like, let's sing. You know what I mean? It's like, but what the parts I liked about it was when they actually were sitting there and reminiscing about the days in their heyday, yeah, I and that was real. That was them telling stories and laughing at each other and making fun of each other. And so that was really fun. I freaking loved it. Have a cocktail or two and watch it. Yes. And, and they all can still sing. I mean, the, I mean, none dancing, of them sounded bad. Maybe not so right. much, but that's okay. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, dad bots. Who cares? But I just think that was a really sweet thing, especially if you were a fan of that kind of music. I wasn't at the time, so it probably wouldn't hit me in the same kind of nostalgic right. way that it might if you are. And fans. funnily enough, I wasn't either. But as, you know, the years went by, I'm like, oh, I kind yeah. of underappreciated their music then. Well, the interesting thing is I watched a, and I think this is also on Netflix, a um, the Music That Made Us series, and they had a whole thing on Boys to Men and how... All of those white boy bands that came after were all trying to be boys oh, to men. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yeah. And so you've got one yay and uh, the, who's the other guy? The, uh, the other yeah. guy. Sorry. Um, who are from Boys to Men who are on this show and they're still the whole time they're like, I don't, I still don't think we're a boy band. And that was really right. fun because that's not what they intended to no, do. But that was so it's fun. It's cute. But um, maybe. So did you, know, you watch? And I I'm sorry if it's on your good list, but. It's another music one. Did you watch the Kelly Clarkson musical? Uh, I did. I did. Um, I really enjoyed that. Yeah, she's well. She's fantastic, and I mean, there. I mean, she's a. 
freaking national treasure. Yeah, you know, I agree. and just keeps sounding better and better as she gets older. She really does. She her just voice really, just matures. Yeah, I agree. And so the pattern in between her. was kind of hokey, but yeah, I just but her so costumes were amazing, and and, and that mean, song she wrote about her husband when they divorced, and it was like Christmas, Christmas isn't, isn't canceled, canceled, just you. you. Oh my God! So what's funny is, so she this is on her new Christmas album, which came out this year. And a couple of years ago, when she first got with him, she put out a Christmas album. The whole thing is full of love. And that's where Underneath the Tree, I Don't Need Anything But You, Underneath the Tree came out, blah, blah. So this is a response to now it's like, such you don't get to take Christmas from me, but blah, blah, blah. It is such a good so song. Good. Okay, sorry. I keep That's I keep okay. This is my thunder. last one. Um, this is, and I saved it for last because this is a must watch. This is for people who hate cheesy Christmas movies who can't stand the formula who are like I freaking hate Christmas movies because it sucks other than love actually that's my all-time favorite Christmas I watch it every year but this is called last Christmas you've seen it With Henry Golding yes. yes Henry Golding the hot guy from Crazy Rich Asians and Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones and Emma Thompson as a uh, Ukrainian mother immigrant and Emma actually co-wrote the script which is why this isn't stupid you think it's setting it up to be the typical formulaic yeah. you know crazy lost girl finds this put together you know uh guy and i'm not going to give the twist away because yeah, i never yeah. saw it coming and it was brilliant yeah, it's super and good I'm and the acting is great yeah yep, it's the really... acting is fantastic and it's really it is quality i highly Agreed. recommend Agreed. if you hate christmas movies watch this because this is for people who hate Christmas movies. And so there you go. Yay. There's my watch I'm this. I'm still going to watch. I have like Got a week 50, to go. <laughs> 50 Hallmark. He's still in my queue. Yep. Um, so I cannot wait. I saw a couple with good reviews as I was looking up. Oh, who was that actor? You know, I was like trying to write down who was who and found a couple that I'm interested in watching that I just really can't wait to watch. I'm just Christmasing out this year. Like totally. I love it. I love it. So yeah. What else? Do we have anything else? Do we plan anything we else? We don't. We're going to um, end this uh, year's uh, holiday thing as we've been ending our last few shows. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have things we love these couple months. We right. have people we love. Yes. And the person we are highlighting um, today is a very special person for both to both of us. Yes. Um, it's Mr. Christopher Gregson. Yay! Now, Chris, if you need headshots, he can do that. If you need, like, engagement photos. If you need a photo. Mm -hmm. He can do that. Mm -hmm. um, either he has backdrops, he can do it in their backyard, whatever. He's mm -hmm. he's fantastic. He can edit. Um, Although if, he hates it. He does, so gotta but really he's fantastic. Pay for that, but he's great at it. Um, and uh, <laughs> helping you with audition tapes. Yeah. And I pay him like $20 an hour. And um, when I tell you he directs it, and then Marie, his wife, will read the copy. Yeah. And then he, so I'm like, no, just, just it's, it's two seconds. And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. So, he has something. I, I actually had him do it for me once, and Marie read the opposite lines for me and was it, did the scene vo voice wise with me. And I was like, "Just hold my phone. I just need you to hold my phone." Like my agent was like, "Just put it on your cell phone." I was like, "Okay." So, but he's all he's walking around, and he's zooming in, and he's like, "Like he in will fact, do it." When we went into quarantine and I wasn't getting callbacks, and my manager said to me, she, "He's like, you know, you used to." Send such good tapes. And I'm like, well, I'm doing it myself on my bed. <laughs> right. I mean, <laughs> but um, yeah. so here's mm -hmm. his information. Yep. And he's a filmmaker overall. So if you need somebody to run a things. camera, all the things. Director of photography. Skills. Yeah. So he's he's your guy. Uh, but Seriously. if you need a last minute picture of, here's me, a picture of me for my mommy, he can do that for you this week. And he's done headshots <laughs> for our friends that are spectacular. Yeah, so totally. please, please, yeah. Chris Get is up your boy. guy. Yes. He is so super talented. Yes. So. And we thank him for all the honeydew list right. things that we ask him for. Poor Marie. Poor Chris didn't realize he was marrying like 10 other women when he married his wife. I don't think any of us have <laughs> set up like a fire stick. Well, you set up your own fire stick. I had to have him come yeah. over. but. Yeah. Anything computer-wise that my brother uh, isn't available to do, I have Chris do it. Anything, of course, construction-wise. Yeah. Um, but don't call him for that because he's already he's, he's already, already he's, he's taken for that. 
But yeah. any paying stuff for film, television, whatever, yeah. he is your guy. He's your guy. We love you, Chris. We love you so you, much. You know who else? And happy love? birthday. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. The twenty first. Yes. Right. The twenty first. If be, uh, it's the day before, you will be seeing this. But his birthday was yeah. yesterday. <laughs> Today's Saturday, so we're cheating. We're cheating. But yes. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, Oh, well, no, the day it is after. Tomorrow. Yes. Yes. Today is the 20th. We had it and then we threw it away. And then we threw it away. <laughs> I threw it away. I'll own that. I'll That's own okay. that. Yes, tomorrow. Yes. Um, is Chris's birthday. So But um, also before we go, January 10th is our very first combo in-person show and podcast. We are starting a weekly podcast. In addition to our every other week filming. Yes, we so are. So if you prefer to podcast, we're going to pull the audio from these um, films, tapes, and that's going to be our podcast for that week. And then we're having other just, we'll just do live podcasts. Ones in Everywhere you can find a podcast. So Yes, yes. please. And we're going to have guests and everything in the new we year. Are. It's going to be a big deal. We for have a whole thing going. So please follow us on all yes. of the social medias. All the social um, medias. Please, and again, like I said, we have a, like three or four Christmas specials in the can mm -hmm. already. Yep. Go to our YouTube and anotherthingtv.com. Um, dot com. Yep. And uh, we don't only love Chris, we love you, thingies. So much. Thank you for watching. Yes, yeah, so stay and all safe. all your support. Stay sane. And healthy and hopeful. Happy holidays, Happy thingies. holidays. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. We'll see you next year. And still wear a mask.